Okay, so now for today, we're going over a couple of the examples. Now, it's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. And also today, I'm going to show you guys how to solve for some angles. You know, yesterday was all sides. Now, today, we're going to solve for some angles. So right here, it's a Kirk Daniels wishes to measure the distance across the Gascody River. Uh, determine that C is going to be that many degrees. Uh, a is that many degrees, and the measurement of B is 347.6 feet. Find the distance across the river. Now, what would I label the distance across the river? Okay, because where it's located at, that's my little A, right? Okay, A, B, and C are already, already there. So I'm looking for this value. Now, to be able to do this, remember yesterday I said we had to have a pair. We had to have either all A, all B, or all C. Do we have that? Say not yet. No. Not yet. The reason why I say not yet is can we find that? Yes. Okay, which one can we find? We can find B, right? The big B. Big B. I could find angle B because all three angles in a triangle have to? Equal 180. Add up to 180. Very good. All right, so now from here, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start off with that. So it's going to be 180 minus my 31.10 degrees minus my 112.90 degrees and that's going to give me 36. a number 36 point what? One. 36 point one degree makes sense right okay so we have that so now let's go through and actually find Okay, we found the measure B, so now I'm going to go through and actually do the work for this. So as I set this up, it's going to be, uh, this is going to be A. Oh, joy. It's, it's not working. <laughs> I know. And it was doing so well this morning. All right. There we go. Okay, so, there we go. So I'm going to have A over sine of 31.10 degree is equal to, now for this one I'm going to use my B's, right? So it's going to be 347.6 over sine of 31.6. I mean 1, sorry, sorry. Okay, what is 36.1. 36.1, all right. So 36.1, thank you. I knew something was right now. So 36.1 degrees. Okay, and this is what we got from Big B, right? All right, anyone questions on the setup? No one questions? All right, so like I said, this is just algebra from this point. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do my cross products here. So I'm going to multiply this way, I'm going to multiply this way, so I'm going to have A times sine 36.1 degree is equal to 347.6 times sine of 31.10 degrees, like that. Now I'm trying to get the A by itself, so to undo this multiplication I have to do what? Divide by the sine of 36. Yep. Divide by the sine, 36.1. Okay. Sorry. There we go. So A is going to be a boot. Not Canadian. <laughs> yeah, no. Stop it. Gee golly. This is America. 304.7. All right, so right here, what was it? It was 
So I'm going to come up with 304.7. Okay. Let me go back to there. And what are my units? Feet. Why are they feet? Because we're measuring the sides, right? This side was given over here in feet, so that means the other side also is in feet, right? Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this next one right here. Two ranger stations on an east-west line. 110 miles apart. A forest fire is located on a bearing of north, 42 degrees east. So it starts north, and from that point north, it's east, 42 degrees. So we get that right there. Okay. Now, for the next one, it's going to be uh, at an A bearing of north, 15 degrees east. So from right here, this one, from there north, it's 15 degrees going this way, okay? So uh, to the nearest 10 miles. So right here, from the eastern station B to the nearest 10 miles, how far is the fire from the western station? So this is going to be my western station. That's going to be this value right here. On the last problem function? Yeah. They did? It says 305.5. He added wrong. It's 36. I think it Ooh. was it wasn't 36.1, it was just 36. It's just 36. <clears throat> Is that what it was? It was yeah. just 36? Yeah. yeah. But when you do 180 minus <coughs> it's not 36.1? 36. No. It's 36. Oh, it's just 36. Yep. You're right. <sighs> Uh-oh. 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 <coughs> so, yeah, that one was supposed to be just 36. I'm not going to blame anyone, okay? We're all at fault. Anyway, but, yeah, so this is supposed to be a 36.0. Sorry. And so, so this is going to be A is about what? 30. Point five. I am so sorry on that one. Okay. All right. So please, please, please make sure. Double check. So if anyone else actually had that earlier, yeah. please speak up. Don't make me go through the entire problem in like 15 minutes of video. You're like, okay, yeah. Guess what, Pacho? You got it wrong at the very beginning. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a couple things that goes along with bearing. Bearing always has a directional. It's either north, south, east, and west, and it's always a directional from there. Okay. So now if it's starting north, okay, it's always going to be perpendicular. Okay. From the east-west, it's going to be perpendicular. Now the word perpendicular refers to what type of angle? A right angle. Very good. That's what I'm looking for. A right angle. So therefore, I know that these right here, this, is complementary. So you subtract. Very good. So I know that those two angles together have to add up to 90. 90. So that's important. So that's going to add up to 90. Now it's also going to do the same thing for this bearing right here. Since this bearing on this side is 90, but didn't they go more than that? They went more than that on this side. So what would I do on this side right here? Add. Add. It would be 90 plus 15, where on this side right here, it's going to be 90 minus 42, right? So let's see what we would get over here then. So on this side right here, I'm going to get 48. And this side right here is 105. And then the other one's 27. And the other one's going to be what? 27. 27. How did we get that that one's 27? 180 minus both of those. Yeah, all three of them together have to add up to 180, right? 
So I did 180 minus 48 minus 105 gave me a 27 up here. Okay, so now you, with that information, let's go right here. So what do we say? 48, 105, and 27. Okay, so now, given all that, I can now set this up. So do I have a matching pair? Do I have both of a tie? Yeah. What do I have all of? C. I have all of C, right? So let's start with that. So if I have all of C, it's going to be 110 over sine of 27. And that's equal to, we're trying to find which one? Little b, right? Little b. Little b. So that's going to be little b over sine of 105. Now we can go through from here and do what? Cross, Cross products, right? So let's go ahead and do the cross products. So, one, one, zero times sine of 105 degrees <laughs> equals B times sine of 27 degrees. Divide both sides by sine 27. So I should get that B is a boot. 2, 3, 4, point what? Zero. Zero feet. And it said round to the right here to the nearest 10 miles. <clears throat> How far is it? So to the 10 miles, this would be what? 230. There we go. So B is going to be 230. Oh, and it wasn't feet, was it? Uh, miles. Yeah, this one should be miles. What the? Yep, my AC unit is going to launch. <laughs> yes. Anyway. So yes, I have to listen to this all day long too. Anyway. Yes. Guess what? We're all mad here. Are we okay with this? Now, area of a triangle. Okay, this is given that area right here, and it's not, not going to be like a regular right triangle that you have the height, right? It's base times height divided by two is the area of a regular triangle, but these are not, these are irregular triangles. So some values I don't have, but if I have the measurements of the sides, I can go ahead and use these. So now this is not sass. It means it's going to be side angle side, right? Side angle side. So the angle has to be what? Between. So it has to be touching my two sides. This is the only way this works. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, so is this sass? Yes, it is. It is sass. So let's go ahead and put in my information for this. So area is equal to one half. Now, AC, so little a, little c. So that's going to be what? Why are you going to do 34? Okay. Yeah, so it's 34 times 42 times of 55 degrees, 10 minutes. Yes? No. Okay, so area is unit squared, right? You only do DMS when I'm trying to find an angle. Okay? If I'm looking for the angle itself, then I would do DMS. But this one I'm not. I'm actually trying to find a value here. I'm going to end up with a unit squared when I'm done. So, I know you guys are all plugging in right now. I don't know if I got right, but I got 586.1. 586.1? Yeah. Really 
So my area is a boot, five, eight, six point one. Now what are my units? Feet square, very good, feet square. Square feet because area is always squared, volume is always cubed. There we go. Makes sense, pretty simple, right? Not having to find like all of them? No. Just finding the area. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Forgive me. It needs to be circled. Yeah, what that? There we go. Alright. Now it's now it's fitting. Alright. Now, in this case right here, find the area. Is it, is it SAS? No. It's not SAS. Okay. Okay, since it's not SAS, I can't jump straight to it. So can I find other values? Yeah. Okay, let's go through and start finding some other values. So I'm gonna start off by finding the value for B. So I know that all three angles together I have to add up to 180, right? So if they add up to 180, so please, Subtract it from 180, and this one is an angle, so it's going to be DMS. When do you put DMS at the very end? Right? Yes, remember the triangle and DMS yeah. after you're done. <laughs> so what do we come up with? 102. 102 degrees and 14 degrees. You guys agree? Okay, so that's good. Now, given that much information, now I need a SAS, right? I have only one side. Can I find another side? Yeah. Yes, and that's what I'm going to do here. You want to solve for A or B? A. Let's do A. Let's do A then, okay? So we're gonna solve for A, and then we're gonna have SAS over here. We're gonna have side, angle, side on this right here. So if I find A, then I could do the area. If I could do the same thing with C. If I find C, it'd be side, angle, side, and then I would still find my area. It'll give me the exact same value, okay? So let's take a look. So if I'm gonna set that up, what did we say it was, 102? Yeah, 102 and 40, 40, 40. There we go. So I'm going to set it up so it's going to be 27.3 over sine of 102, 40 is equal to, so if I'm finding A, it's little a over sine of 24. Four degrees, 40 minutes. Cross products. So it's going to be 27.3 times sine of 24 degrees, 40 minutes equals A times sine 102 degrees, 40 minutes. How would I get my A by itself? Divide. Yep, there we go. Divide by the sine 102, 40, right? <coughs> what is it? 11.7? What are my units? Um, centimeters. Just centimeters right now, right? Okay. okay, so now, you guys ready for the area? Yeah. So we had to do all this just to get to the area, right? Because yeah. I didn't have enough information in the first place. So we need to actually, now that it's all set up, 
Yeah, so area. So for this one, it's I'm gonna use my sass here. So I'm gonna use my sass, so it's gonna be my area is equal to one half. So that's gonna be 27.3 times my 11.7 times sine of 24 degrees. Oh, wait, you're right, 5240. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was getting ahead of myself. 52 degrees, 40 minutes. There we go. 127. 127, exactly? Well, it's because it's 126.90. Okay. So, one, you said what? 126.90. Oh, 127.0. So even if there is a zero, it's 127.0, and that's gonna be in centimeters. Let's go. Squared, since that is my area. Because it was 126.98. Yeah. We're done. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. All right, you guys. Okay, don't forget, like and subscribe, right?